Thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast. And in a big move against the central government decision to remove several chapters from the NCRT textbooks, the Kerala government has taken a special step. That step is about inclusion and it has decided to restore these chapters in the school syllabus. The textbooks will cover the assassination of Mahatma Gandhi and the Gujarat riots. Among the other portions that have been deleted from the NCRT history textbooks, the reason given for dropping these lessons was it that it was overlapping and irrelevant. The revised school curriculum uh, for uh, Kerala students will be introduced in educational institutions from September. Remember, the CPIM government in Kerala was highly critical of the NCRT decision to remove certain portions from the textbook as part of the syllabus and the rationalization process. <laughs> Science, India administratively, administratively has, according to the constitution, there are certain function. There, there is a list where the jurisdiction is of entirely the central government. There is a concurrent list and there is a state list. So, as far as the jurisdiction of the state is concerned, they have every... I may not agree with them. Somebody may disagree with them. But if they are working within the parameters of their jurisdiction, then matter can be raised in the assembly or somewhere. But jurisdiction, if they are within their jurisdiction, then that should not become a matter of controversy. Look, in fact, Gujarat's decision is to focus on this decision that the daughter of the Mukhya Mantri is about 1.5 crore rupees to take a look at the price of the price of the price. The price of the price of the price will come. लेकिन चूंकि मार्क्सवादी कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी की एक छवि रही है उस छवि के प्रतिकूल पिनियारी विजन का परिवार न सिर्फ वंशवाद कर रहा है बल्कि प्रशासन में सक्रिय हस्तक्षेप करते हुए भ्रष्टाचार में लिप्त होने के आरोप से बच नहीं रहा उस संभवतः उससे ध्यान बटाने के लिए एक विवादास्पद मुद्दे को ला रहे हैं All right, some breaking news which is coming in at this point in time. Former NCRT director Dr. J.S. Rajput has said that whatever has become the matter of controversy, that should have not been done. That's the word coming in. Uh, let's listen in to Dr. Rajput and uh, I'll cut across to my colleague Neetu after that. Every state has a right to make changes in the syllabus and the curriculum that NCRT prescribes. But it, it is always done on a collaborative basis. When I was the director of NCRT, we used to write in every book that local element of the curriculum is very important. But the only thing is what I have read in the media, all these additions, subtractions must be with mutual considerations, consultations and the dialogue. And that is what normally NCRT is meant for and this is what NCRT is doing. Whatever has been, uh, whatever has become the matter of controversy, I think it should not become the controversy. 
That's the word coming in from the former NCRT director who's argued that uh, the controversy should have not really become what it has become at this point in time. Uh, these are two sides of the story that we'll try and put out for you here on CNN News 18. One is what the left party is claiming, which is that BJP is trying to distort the history. They are also trying to politicize this entire matter and they're trying to erase the portions of history which are troublesome for them. Some call it the so-called saffronization of education in this country. But the argument is far too complex from being a simplistic one as it is being presented. Gandhi is being disliked by those who wanted India to become a Hindu country. Attempts to unite Hindus and Muslims provoked Hindu extremists and more importantly Hindu extremists made several attempts to assassinate Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhiji's death had a magical effect on India's communal situation. That's the word coming in. Our government of India cracked down on organizations that spread communal hatred. These are words which are coming in from the Indian Express investigation that reveals what exactly are the changes that were proposed, what are the objections that have been raised. It has also been argued that organizations like the RSS were banned for some time. These troublesome portions of the history the left parties argue the attempt is to delete those portions from the history. As far as Nathuram Godse is concerned, nobody can deny he was a member of the RSS. He was a Brahmin, a Chitpavan Brahmin from Pune. One community that was known for its staunch idealism and nationalism, but he was involved in the assassination of Nathuram Godse. He was the assassin of Ma Mahatma Gandhi and for that he was convicted as well. Uh, now, one who denounced Gandhi as an appeaser, of Muslim. Earlier that is what was being argued here. And now Mahatma Gandhi assassin. That's what the change has been. The NCRT has modified the class 12 book. Uh, let's also get in a word on more newsmakers, more voices which are speaking on the story. Uh, let's cut across to this breaking news coming in. Dr. Shashi Tharoor has spoken. The Congress party has waded into this controversy. Let's listen in to Dr. Shari Shashi Tharoor. Dr. Tharoor, the state government has decided to reintroduce those chapters which has been deleted by the NCRT. Education minister said that after Onam vacations, this will be taught to the students. How do you see it? I actually welcome that. Look, first of all, in our system, the state government has the prerogative to set its own curriculum. And the fact is that if the objective of the state government is to educate children, we don't actually make life better for them by deleting portions of text. The NCERT took the position that as far as they were concerned, it was about making life easier for the children because many had extra work to catch up on after the COVID pandemic. The problem is unfortunate that the deletions seem to follow an unfortunate pattern where certain subjects were favored for deletion and other matters were retained or even expanded. Now we felt many of us at the time that this was not necessary and that there could have been either a decision made that we'll keep all the textbooks but we won't issue examinations in certain areas to save the children the extra labor or that we will teach everything but we'll give the children a larger choice for example say if you have a, an exam paper with 10 questions and you can answer any five then the children will not suffer from having had too much material to study this kind of situation is a far better one everything is available to them and you have a possibility, therefore, of being at least given the entire 360-degree range of what exactly you should be aware of with politics, the freedom struggle, civics, and these areas. Cutting across uh, to my colleague Neetu Regukumar, who's joining us uh, on the broadcast. Neetu, if I were to ask you the key changes that were suggested by the NCRT and the key objections that were raised by the state government, we'll come to the politics of it. But in terms of the changes, what were the changes that the state government didn't agree to? Now, the, uh, what the state government has said is that they will uh, bring back all these deleted chapters, including the Gandhi assassination, the Gujarat riots, the Mughal history, and also uh, Darwin's theory of evolution. So history, economics, mm. uh, science, in all these parts where the uh, uh, NCRT has deleted portions. So these portions will be reintroduced mm. uh, to the students, is what the state government has said. They had said this earlier at the beginning of this academic year also, and now the education 
education minister has kind of given a timeline by saying that by next uh, month once the students are back from their onam vacations uh, they will be teaching these now we heard uh, dr shashi tarur who's also the mp from tiruvananthapuram telling that uh, he welcomes this but also at the same time feels that this entire thing should not be politicized because students should uh, learn all these aspects students should learn uh, history civics or uh, uh, science or uh, all these uh, things which are important just uh, he says that yeah. if any government is working to educate the students they can't say that you will uh, ma- uh, just to make your lives better we are deleting certain portions and he also went on to say that the entire controversy was because it seemed okay. that only certain uh, um, matters or it followed up certain political line when the deletions came uh, 